plays negative plays are always going to be a tough problem in any team, any program, any either whether it's Pop Warner or the NFL. It's, can't have negative plays. You've got to play consistent always. And Saturday, how do you fix that? Uh, just play more consistent, taking what we do on the field and bring it to a game. Can't have game spasms. Uh, guys, just got to stay in the game. You can't focus on the big crowd, who's in the crowd, is there more red in the crowd? It doesn't matter. Playing a football game. You just mentioned something that some people are talking about, there being a lot of red in the crowd, mm-hmm. potentially. Um, do you think that's going to happen? What would your reaction be if it does? I, I would hope not, but, I mean, it doesn't, it's, I don't buy the tickets or anything, so it doesn't matter. I'm here to play a football game. Taylor, Taylor, obviously, you guys have not had the success you anticipated and hope to have. For yourself personally, coming back as a senior, what has this year been like for you? And what would you tell other people who are having the same type of decision to make uh, about coming back in general? Um, <coughs> the benefits of coming back and why, even if it doesn't go well in the field, it's still worth it to come back as a senior. Uh, I, I think, you know, people might think I might regret my decision to come back. Absolutely not. Being around these guys in the locker room, uh, win or loss, they're my brothers. And be around them for one more year, experience college for another year, that's uh, that's huge. And I know we didn't win the Big Ten Championship, uh, didn't accomplish individual awards, but at the same time, it's I'm playing football with my friends. And uh, hopefully I can do that in the future also, but I'm happy about it right now. Yeah. You're, just, you're getting cut today. Oh. You're just <laughs> – <laughs> go ahead. Yes, ma'am. You talk a lot about um, Devin having to pick him up sometimes after games. How how hard was he? Seemed to take Saturday's game pretty hard. <coughs> and, um, how, I mean, I would imagine you spoke to him quite a bit after the game. Yeah, I talked to him a little bit. Uh, you can't beat yourself up. It's never that's the best part about football. It's never an individual loss or win. I mean, it's just not like that. Eleven guys in the field at one time, and uh, Devin fumbling that last play. It, it's that doesn't like. I mean, that matters, but it's not the game. I mean, there's a lot of things that we've done the offensive line that we didn't do. We had drop balls here. We missed some reads from running backs. It's not – I mean, if we all do what we're supposed to do every play, 11 guys, then we wouldn't have been in the situation in the first place. Devin's a great leader. He's a great quarterback. He's going to bounce back from this. He always does. He has the confidence to do it, and I believe in him. Andy um, Denver. It seemed like the offensive line kind of started to find a groove uh, in that Northwestern game. Mm-hmm. What do you think about switching – uh, Magnuson uh, over to the left and, and bring Kalis back in. What do you think that that group gave you guys? Um, I don't know. It was, I think it was good. Guys are just getting more experience now. You're going to see it next year. These guys, I told you before, like guys are the one starts, the two starts throughout the season. They're going to like that's like so unbelievably helpful. They don't even understand yet, and they're learning so much. And they have a whole other spring ball to go through. I think you know we're going to be more consistent this week. But, I'm, but the next few years, this offense line is going to be more consistent, more and more consistent, and uh, eventually have a Big Ten caliber offense line. Were you, were you happy with pass protection? That seems to be the, the one area that really seemed to improve. In the yeah, I, I think it's gotten better. Um, Iowa's never been known for their pass rush, obviously. They're kind of grind you in the dirt kind of guys. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's good not to give up as many sacks. Ted, going back to you, you know, back career. Year, uh, academically, I'm going to get my degree, and I mean, this is the 14th best college in the in the world. This is, you can't beat that, except for the other 13 colleges. But you know, <laughs> but this is that's I mean that's huge. Uh, as far from a from a football perspective, uh, like just so much another opportunity to go through a spring ball, another opportunity to work on my fundamentals and techniques. My pass protection has gotten so much better than it has last year. I don't lean as much. I'm better with my hands. My feet are better. Um, staying up on blocks, not being so overly aggressive that you fall off your blocks once in a while. I'm getting. I'm better at that. Um, my body's healthier. My body. I'm in better shape than I ever have been. I just. I mean, I've taken so much from this. Is I. I'm kind of hard to think of all the things, but most importantly, taking taking away these friendships and being with these coaches for another year and being around this university for another year. It's. I, I just really can't explain 
how huge this is for me and how like even though we didn't have the season we wanted that I'll never regret this decision ever.